Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of the PSD to CSS online video tutorial series. Today we're going to look at another new feature. Today we added Twitter integration. Um, if you use Twitter at all, then you know what it's about. Um, briefly, it's uh, um, it's the it's the uh, most popular uh, microblogging uh, site. Um, basically, you get an account to Twitter, and at any given point in time, you can type up to 140 characters of just what you're doing right now. Um, some people choose to use it to talk about everything they do all day. Uh, a lot of people use it for business type uh, activities and uh, only put up updates about their website or their business or what they're doing. And you have a choice of who you listen to, so you don't have to um, listen to everybody in the whole planet. You can just listen to the people you want to. So Twitter's a pretty amazing tool. If you haven't started using it, you uh, might want to give it a try. Anyways, um, if you are a Twitter user and you want people to know what uh, what are, what's new with you, um, it would be handy to have your Twitter feed live on your uh, website. So uh, today we added that as a feature. You can uh, just draw a big box in your Photoshop design for your website, call it uh, your Twitter name, underscore Twitter, and uh, and it automatically generates all the code to make a live link to Twitter. And anytime anybody visits your page, they see your, your current Twitter stream So uh, with all your tweets. So uh, I'm going to show you how you do that. It's really straight. I pretty much just explained it. That's all there is to it. But I'll show you anyways. <laughs> so here we have uh, Photoshop and a fairly straightforward uh, web design. Web sh design. Um, we only have two real interesting areas here. Uh, one of them is uh, body text, which is this big gray box here at the bottom. And the other is this box right here. This is where I want uh, my my tweets to show up. I want my Twitter stream to show up there. Um, so uh, let's see if we can highlight this one. There we go. You can see that this one is called, let's see if we can zoom in. You can see this one's called Sean MCI underscore Twitter. Sean MCI is my, my Twitter name. Um, and then just underscore Twitter. And that's, that's all I had to do is just name that box that way. And uh, the uh, PSD to CSS online, when it converts this PSD file uh, into uh, a web page, will uh, will instead of put a big gray box there, it'll put the appropriate code to uh, to go ahead and visit the Twitter Twitter site and uh, grab the uh, my current stream that first I think it's set to six by default uh, tweets most recent six tweets and uh, print them there um, by default to generate some CSS that makes it look a lot like it does on the Twitter page. Um, it's uh, easy to you know you can use any kind of css you'd like to uh to modify that but it, but by default it looks just like like it does on twitter um in the bottom here uh it's just body text uh, i'm going to put some text there about uh what this page is but that's pretty much it that's this whole file and uh i already have it in this folder here my twitter folder i'll go ahead and convert it for you anyways to show you how that goes um as always for psd to css online here we will go to the folder and grab our PSD file. I'm using Google Chrome, by the way. If you haven't tried it, I suggest it. It's pretty, pretty slick, kind of fast. Um, PSD to CSS online generated pages, if you choose to, can have an awful lot of JavaScript in them. If you decide to put a lot of stuff in there, you certainly can. And uh, Chrome is the fastest uh, JavaScript engine available so far today, so it's really great for showing our pages. Um, they were, our pages run fine on all the other browsers too. There's no problem with that. And I understand the new Firefox is going to even be faster. So anyway, we will go ahead and upload this file. PSD to CSS online. We'll churn on it for a little while. It's going to create for us CSS and XHTML valid code. And uh, it'll create a zip file for us with our JavaScript and uh, all the generated code and all of the images that are required. We can view it here um, like that. So you can see that it did in fact generate a file, uh, a web page. Um, here's the standard text message when I haven't put something in yet. But here I haven't done anything other than convert it and I have a live Twitter feed. Um, the text is red. On Twitter the text is gray so you can change that color if you want. But, uh, but other than that it looks just like it does uh, at Twitter. You could make that box any size or shape you want, and it'll fill it in with the Twitter messages. Um, so, like I said, I explained the whole process in the first couple of sentences there. That was it. Um, here's a version of the uh, page uh, 
with with the uh, that's live. This is the uh, the version that's actually accessible from my website. All I did was add some more meaningful text down here and change all the text color to gray. But uh, but as you can see here, that's a that's a live Twitter my live Twitter feed, um, complete with the links off to uh, uh, off to Twitter. So uh, so that's that. I guess it can't really get a whole lot simpler. Pretty quick tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to drop me an email. Um, if you are watching this on YouTube, there is a high resolution, a much higher quality version of the video on the website itself. You can just go and visit. And, uh, and that's that. I hope you have fun. Thanks.